I'm Tom Fisher, host of BourbonBlog.com, and we're in New Orleans, Louisiana, for Tales of the Cocktail this week. And I have a friend of mine from Mexico, Jose Hermosillo. He is the CEO of Casanoble Tequila. Welcome to New Orleans. Thank you. Love being here. Uh, we love coming to Tales, and obviously the city is so wonderful, so we're really enjoying it. And thanks for sharing your tequila with us. We love Casanoble Tequila. Appreciate it. Appreciate like, it. Speaking of loving Casanova tequila, I'm just going to go ahead and have a little bit right well, Please, okay. please. Go ahead. What are you doing? This is not shooting tequila. You're supposed to sip it, enjoy it, have fun with it. Oh, like, no, shouldn't shoot this then? No, no, no. Please, I'll, I'll serve you one more. Yes. One more? So we can uh, go ahead and uh, so go through the experience of tequila. So tequila is just not for shooting then? Well, uh, handcrafted high-end tequila you're supposed to enjoy. Actually, in Mexico, uh, you will see only the younger crowd wanting to get drunk shooting tequila. So everybody else will be enjoying and sipping it for lunch or dinner. Yes. So typically, most of the adults in Mexico won't shoot tequila. They will sip it. Correct. Unless they had a bad day or... <laughs> or, uh, or maybe a very good day. But Casanoble is very handcrafted. We do everything uh, with patience and with a lot of care. And uh, that care is in every detail, and that's how we get the, the final results of uh, Casanoble. From our own agave plants, which we uh, have uh, up in the mountains, uh, that we uh, let grow 10, 12 years until they're fully matured to the natural fermentation, uh, the uh, stone oven cooking, which we do uh, 36 hours, uh, the triple distill, all the way to our French white oak barrels. And the most important thing is the aroma. And the yes. Obviously, you can evaluate other things, but the, the aroma is where we really want to um, uh, really center in to appreciate the tequila. Okay. So we put it in our nose. And you notice Casanoble has a lot of spices, a lot of agave sweetness in it. Let's swirl it a little bit, get those heavier alcohols out. A little citrusy in there, a little honey. And the swirling of a tequila allows us to what? Uh, the heavier alcohols will come up, so you really uh, first do not swirl. That way you have the lighter alcohols that you get those notes, and then you swirl it to get the heavier, heavier alcohols. And you're supposed to um, put your nose in the bottom, in the middle, and the top, and you'll notice different aromas in each section. So I should do each of them as I sample this? Yes. Or nose it? As, as you nose it. I already sampled it once. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's our Casanoble Cristal. Cheers. Salud. Salud to Casanoble. We Excellent. follow with our Casanoble Reposado. To be called a Casanoble Reposado or a Reposado, it has to be aged at least two months. Right. In our case, we aged the maximum, which is 364 days, one day shy of a year. You, do, you go as far as you can without making this non yet. Correct. Why that do you choose correct. to do that? Uh, we are using French white oak barrels, which uh, the wood is a tighter pour, very a light char, in which we are trying to really enhance the tequila, make it more complex with those aromas. You can see the color is, uh, from the barrels, from right. the tannins, you'll see a little bit of that uh, yellow, yellowish color, but let's put it in our nose again. Three spots on our nose? Yes, so three spots where you start, you still get the agave, you start getting vanilla, a little oh, bit yeah. of chocolate. I do get chocolate. Uh, you still have the spices, but it, they're complemented by all these aromas. And let's swirl it. Swirl it. it. Heavier. Alcohol. A little coffee bean. Now you really confirm the wow. sweetness. That is there. delicious. Very much. But it's so smooth. And it's the same product, just after. It's the very same one as this. Just after being just in. Just out. In, in that's just what, it, that's what time will do. Yes. Good. And right. finally, we have our Añejo. Añejo. Our Añejo, you can see the deeper, deeper color. And that's a little bit darker, yes. We are aging it for two years. Again, French white oak barrels. Two years. Uh huh. And now, Añejo, Añejo is at least a year. year. But up to? Up to, well, up to three years. Once it turns three years, uh, there's a category called Extra Añejo. Extra Añejo. Okay. Yeah, which is three and over. Oh. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, um, put it in our nose. 
and now you're really getting that chocolate. A little bit of fruitiness, maybe dry fruits in yes. there. Great nose. Oh, please don't shoot this. I won't shoot this one at all. You'd be upset if I did that. But I'd be upset if I shot it. Berries. I mean, obviously, you go to a Mexican restaurant and feel it's there with the margarita, or they might have it with a Mexican meal. What are some interesting dishes that you've seen these three tequilas pair with? And, and as you say, Mexican uh, restaurants will pair great with tequila. They, there's so many unusual ways to pair tequila, like cheese. Uh, cheese? Great tasting of cheese. The, uh, uh, Creamy camembert with uh, reposado or uh, something uh, Rockford or you know something like that. We'll, we'll go with the with the tequila. But also, uh, you can go into many different things. We've done pairings with sushi. Uh, so different, you, they use the different Asian spices, and you pair them with the tequila or uh, you know uh, chocolate, for example, with the añejo, the dark chocolate. It's amazing. 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 So what it. makes this so good? What is it? It's just it's patience, this beautiful bottle. I mean, patience, it's... doing things the right way. Um, you know, we are also organic. Uh, we are an organic tequila. But we don't go away from the agave, the, the basic, the essence of tequila. And you know what? We have a little tequila left. Why don't you come have some with us? Actually, I think she already is having some tequila. <laughs> Can't keep me from this party. You get to work with this tequila quite a bit, don't you, actually? This is Tess, by the way. Hello. She, um, she works with Tess and Oblay. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. It, you know, as you guys were saying, it definitely is a work. So, um, it, it uh, inspires you to keep going. <laughs> So this is Tessa's first time in New Orleans. It's your first time in New Orleans. I right? know, I know. I've, I've heard some, some interesting things about sales. <laughs> we started drinking Jose's tequila at 10.30 in the morning. Which is the best time. I think so. Your, your palate is clean. You really appreciate it. Isn't that true, though? I've heard this. But the best time in the morning, the best time of the day to drink and to review and to really get the flavor is early in the morning. We have uh, a team which includes Tess. So uh, we... Wake them up early, and we put them all together, uh, and we taste each batch that's coming out from Casa Nova. So that's our breakfast. You get to do this? Oh, we have a we have a lot of tequila fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of tequilas in my life. Probably not as many as you. But I, I'm serious. This is some of the best tequila I've ever had. For the moment, though, I'm really happy to be drinking Casanova tequila with you at Tales of the Cocktail. Here's to Tales of the Cocktail, and here's to Casanova tequila. Thanks, Jose. Thank yeah. What are you doing?